All right, guys, for your spiritual kickoff this week, we're going to be in the book of 3rd John. All right, so it's one, two, three. Third John, we're we'll looking at verse two, okay? Beloved, I pray that in all respects that you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. Okay, third John, verse two right there. Now, first of all, we need to figure out where in the heck is third John at, right? I know about John the gospel. You mean there's more? Yeah, there's more. It's easy to miss. I get it. It's okay. Chill out. Easiest way to find it for me, go to Revelation. You go to Revelation, that's the last book of the Bible. And by the way, it's not Revelations, it's Revelation. Back up two books. So you'll, find, you'll, hit, you'll hit Jude, then you'll hit Third John, okay? And it's the shortest book in the New Testament, and it's very personal. Uh, that's what I like about this, this, this book of the Bible. It's very personal. So you can just, you can just feel uh, the, the connection here in this story. And this is a letter that, that John was writing to a guy named uh, Gaius, who was an elder, okay? And in the first two verses of First John, he calls him beloved. Okay? So he actually, what does that tell you? He cares for this man. Beloved. And notice, what other two words repeat in verse 2? Prosper. Let's go back and look. Beloved, I pray that in all respect as you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. Okay? It's interesting. It's clear that John loves this man, and it appears that, that Gaius is dedicated to the Lord. I mean, he was, he was doing his stuff right, right? He was a mature man of God, as John states, that his soul was prospering, okay? And when, when I was doing my research, soul and life can be interchanged here, okay? And, and, and that's pretty cool because his walk was producing the fruit. Now, I want to, re- we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna drill this on the line within us, the fruit. What is the fruit? It's the fruit of the Spirit. What we need to know this is that right out of Galatians 5, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Now, those are the fruit. My question for you guys, do others see fruit in your walk? Do they see love? Do they see patience? This is for guys out here, right? I guess this is a men's podcast. So are they seeing patience in what you do? That's, this is the one I struggle with, guys. I'm not the most patient guy. You want to find my unpatience? Put me behind the wheel of my, of my car, and it will happen. No doubt about it. I lose patience, right? So this is something I got to work on. Gentleness. Do we snap at our kids? Kindness. Right? Are we kind to our wife? Goodness. Are we helping other people? All these things I want you to think about, right? Because if, our, if, our, if our, the people around us, if they're scared to come to us because the way we may respond, then that fruit isn't good fruit. Okay, so it's really clear here that guys, he was he had good fruit, right? <clears throat> now, John was praying for his health. Okay, that's pretty cool. So he could have been battling an illness. Who knows? Who knows? There's lots you can infer here, but most likely he was battling something, right? And but either way, he was he was praying for him. He was praying for him, and and it was very clear that look. It's not just I'm patting you on your back. I'm praying for you, buddy. No, he was he was actually doing it. So there's a question to you guys right now. When some when you hear someone say, "I'm praying for you," why don't you just instead say, "Can I pray for you right now?" Right? There's an opportunity right there to to prosper, to help someone, to to help their soul prosper. Right? So just think about that in your walk. Now, when we hear prosperity, we naturally go to where money. Money comes to mind. But that's not what John was completely referring to here. Now, I'm sure he was talking about in some ways, you know, monetarily. But if our soul prospers, what does that mean? We're growing in the Lord. And that that is that is what it's all about. And to grow in him means we need to put our desires to the side. And we have to follow what he wants. It's no longer what I want. It's what he wants. Right. That's what it's all about. And we need to be seeking to be more like Gaius right here, like Gaius right here, walking in the spirit, walking in truth, walking in love, right? Faithful in whatever good works we do, right? We have to be doing that uh, for the sake of the saints and the strangers that we may run into in the world. Who, who knows who we're going to run into? Are they going to see the fruit? You know, if the guy who runs into you on Sunday, is he going to see the same guy on Wednesday or Friday or Saturday night? Will he see the same guy that night versus a Sunday morning? Okay. 
We need to, to behave as he did, no matter what comes our way. Physical ailments, you know, I have, I'm, I'm battling cold, a, a cold as I record this. I hope you guys can put up with it. It's not impacting me too much, but I'm, I'm feeling it. But I'm pushing through, right? So we're going to have those physical ailments. They're going to arise. It's going to happen. And you know what? This, this elder, he had, a, he had a disability. His something was physically wrong. But he was still walking with the Lord. And his soul was prospering in all respects, right? What a great example of a godly saint who lived a life that was pleasing to the Lord. You know what? And, and, and that's what we need to be striving for. You know, he deserves our praise. He deserves all the glory. But he, we need to be doing everything we can in every day, in every situation, to be walking in respects to the Lord. And when we do that, you know, the, the, he, the prosperity, the, the, he, he says, look, you may prosper in good health just as your soul prospers. Now, we're not talking about prosperity gospel here, guys. So make sure we clear that up. This is not prosperity gospel. This is saying, look, we're going to follow the Lord and we're going to do what he tells us to do. And if we do that, then pro that he will prosper well, our endeavors. And that should be encouragement enough right there just doing what he tells us to do right so again third john it's a short book guys you can read this in like five minutes seriously take your bibles out today read it highlight some things i underlined so much just in this one little uh piece of scripture here like uh, verse 11 do not imitate what is evil but what is good i mean how many of us need to hear that how many of us need to just remember you know what the the bad stuff in this world may look cool but that's not what we're called to do, right? The one who does good is of God. The one who does evil has not seen God. These types of verses, these types of scriptures, again, if we can memorize them, great. But you don't have to. You can just go to them, read them, let, let them soak in. The point of the spiritual kickoff is to get your butt in gear for the week. You're going to have a tough week. You're gonna things are going to happen. You have this wonderful plan. I get it. If you're listening to this on a Monday when it drops, you probably got your week mapped out. Something's going to happen. Something's going to throw it off. But in whatever it does, whatever occurs, your soul can prosper. You can prosper, right? Your health can prosper. There's a lot you can't control. Get it? There's a lot that comes up that we just can't. But we can control how we respond, at the, the version of, peop, of, of a man that other people see. That's what the lion's all about. Again, the fruit. One more time. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Which one of those fruit do you struggle with the most? Now, if you're like me and it's patience, here's what you need to do. This week, focus on what ways can you exercise more patience. And you just don't pray for more patience. What does God give you? God gives you an opportunity to be patient. So maybe you're struggling with kindness. Look for that opportunity to be kind. And then, you know, you know what you got to do, guys? Do it. Actually be kind. So pick whatever fruit it is. Whatever fruit it is, that is your challenge. Lean into that, guys. All right, guys. Now, for your question of the week, are you doing the work you were called to do? Are you doing the work you were called to do? Now, the reason I bring that question up, and this, this scripture came from the guest that's coming up on Wednesday. And I, I, again, I cannot believe some of these guests that we're getting. They're unbelievable. Guys, this is a, a, a game changer. You do not want to miss the Wednesday guest because he's going to be talking about ways that you can change, transform your life. And maybe you're stuck in a job right now and you're really struggling. I get it. I get it. I know the struggle. But there is a path to the work you love. You know what? God, God, he wants to guide you. He wants to give you uh, a wisdom and discernment to help you in your walk. And people like the, the guest that's coming on Wednesday do that, and they do it well. So come back, be prepared, take some notes, get your notepad. It'll be one you'll want to, to listen to several times, okay? So come on back on that one. Now, remember this verse, 3 John 2, Beloved, I pray that you respect, that in all respects you may be prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Now, I recognize that not everyone who listens to the line within us is, is a believer. That's okay. If you're here, you're here for a reason. The Spirit may be working on you. 
And you know what? This is your opportunity for every spiritual kickoff. We want to, we want to just share the gospel. You know, Jesus came and he paid the penalty for our sins. And what you need to understand is, first of all, you are a sinner. Okay. You are not flawed. You're not off a track. You're, you're, you're not, you know, struggling. You're a sinner, you know, and so am I. And you, what is a sin? Anything that pulls you away from God. So how can you fix this? You can't. Now, I may, that may hurt. It may, I get it. I'm sorry. But you can't. He can. The only way to true salvation is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. So you have an opportunity right now. If you've never made that confession, if you've never committed, you can make that commitment right now. Because here's the thing. If he comes back today, he, if he comes back before this podcast is over, are you ready? Are you assured? That if he comes back, or if your number's called today, that you'll be in heaven. That your name is in, in the Lamb's Book of Life. Do you know? There's only one way, and it's through him. There's no other name given among men by which we must be saved. Right? He is at the right hand of the Father right now. So Jesus, he came. He was born of a virgin. He, did, he had his ministry. Then he died on the cross for our sins. The payment for our sins. The propitiation it was paid in full. He paid it all. There's nothing we can do. There's no work we can do to, to cover it. It's all through his grace. We are no, under, no longer under the law. We are under grace. And how beautiful is that? And then after he died, they laid him in a tomb. Three days later, guess what? He rose. So we don't worship dead man. We worship a living Savior. He walked amongst us. And he, and he, and he showed up after he rose and then he ascended to heaven to sit at the right hand of the father. And then he sat down the Holy Spirit. And when you, when you become a believer, you have that Holy Spirit, the lion within, that's the Holy Spirit. That is what we need. That is our guide. That is going, that is going to point us. That's going to help us. That's going to show us the way. That's going to be the light in the darkness. So all you have to do. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Savior, today is your day. Admit you're a sinner. And look, I'm right along with you, the chief sinner right here. So together, admit we're sinners. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Truly believe. You have to, you cannot miss this, that he's the Son of God. He wasn't just a good man. He wasn't just, just you know, some miracle worker. No, he was the Son of God. And then confess to him as your savior. He is it. There is no other way. And if you do that, then brother or sister, have ladies who listen to the show, you're in the kingdom. Welcome. So glad to have you. So glad to have you as a brother or sister in Christ. Email us. Support at the lion within dot us. We want to help you. We just want to re all I really want to do is celebrate with you and see what you may need to continue your journey as a Christian. So just reach out, you know, want to, want to come back, want to support you. I have some resources we can help you with right now. So pray the, the prayer of salvation that we just did. Admit, believe, confess. Send us an email, support at the line within dot us. I'd love to hear from you. So guys, there's your spiritual kickoff for the week. Share it with others. Give us that rating and review. We really do need reviews, guys. So if you can, if you don't mind, Go write a review. Give a five-star rating. If you haven't done that yet, what are you waiting on? Get it done. Go to the line within dot us. Check out all the resources, guys. We're building stuff every week. Every week, it's out there. Okay, courses, uh, studies, blogs. There's so much. Hey, go get you a hat or a shirt, something like that. If you want to be a donor, jump on the donor train. Maybe become a, a monthly donor. We're not trying to replace a church, guys, just to clarify this. We're being a supplement. We are a supplement. We want to come alongside you because you need to be plugged into a local body. That's very important. But let the lion within us be a supplement to help you grow in your walk as a Christian leader that you're predestined to be. We love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Come back on Wednesday. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this one. This is going to be one, guys. I still can't believe that it happened. It's crazy that, that the doors that God's opening. But I just tell you what, when you take God out of a box, amazing things happen. So I pray you guys have a great week.
Go write, go read Third John. That's your that's your homework for today. Go share the gospel with someone and unleash the lion within. I get a chance to talk to guys every week, and one consistent struggle that keeps rising is the lack of community. To address this, we created the Lion's Den to start building a community, Christian brothers, with the aim of serving them resources to combat the darkness. We are working hard to bring encouragement, inspiration, and tips to help you be the leader you're predestined to be. As part of the Lion's Den, you'll also be first in line with new opportunities, events, and resources that are designed to serve you in your journey. So hop over to thelionwithin.us to sign up for the Lion's Den for free. That's thelionwithin.us and become a member of the Lion's Den today.